What's going on guys? It's Jimmy here with your $600 second stimulus check update and your $2,000 third stimulus check update. We have new information for you guys on the second stimulus check if you haven't received it yet. On the third stimulus check package, some pretty good news there as well as the $3,000 to $3,600 stimulus payments going forward and mortgage and rental assistance that is happening right now, possibly in your state where you can get your mortgage or your rent paid from the money that has already been passed from the second stimulus check package for mortgage and rental assistance. This is going to be a good episode. Lots of different buckets of money that you can claim. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss out on new videos. And give this video a like if you can. It really helps out our channel. And share these videos. Share these videos so your friends and family will know about these different buckets of money you can claim, these tax credits, these stimulus checks, these mortgage and rental assistance payments that are first come, first serve. All right, guys, let's jump right into it. Okay, first up, the IRS Get My Payment tool has been updated for a lot of people that still have not gotten their second stimulus check. There is still millions of people that have not got their $600 second stimulus check, and you should check the IRS Get My Payment tool to see if they have updated your information. I've been getting lots of reports from you guys down below in the comments that they have updated it. They actually have a future date now that says anywhere in the next few days that you will be getting your second stimulus check if you haven't gotten it yet. In fact, let me know down below in the comments if you haven't got your second stimulus check or if you just got it in the last day or two or even today. I need to be clear here that even if you're expecting a direct deposit, number one is they're reissuing direct deposits. You could get it, and you also could get it via a stimulus check in the mail or a debit card, a stimulus debit card in the mail that'll come in an envelope from the Treasury Department. It's a white envelope that just says it has a seal of the Treasury on there. Do not throw these away. A lot of people throw these away from the first time and the second time. So make sure you're checking your mail. Even if you're not expecting a second stimulus check in the mail, you could get it in the mail. And people are literally getting it today and yesterday and the day before in the mail, even when they're not expecting it. And it also could be a debit card. So keep that in mind. Check your IRS Get My Payment tool after this video and see if it's updated if you haven't got your second stimulus check payment yet. You could be getting it today or within the next few days. Yesterday, Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell spoke at length regarding stimulus going forward and what the Fed thinks should be done regarding inflation and inflation going forward. Will it happen? How much inflation will there be? And also stimulus in the U.S. He said that the U.S. economy still faces considerable risks driven by the pandemic and waved off concerns that further fiscal support could boost or raise more inflation. He says, quote, we're a long way from a full recovery and told reporters that shortly after the Fed announced its interest rates would stay steady and they would continue purchasing a billion dollars of treasury and mortgage bonds to basically help the stock market, pensions, 401ks, and to keep interest rates such as on your car loan or your mortgage payment low for the foreseeable future. He says, quote, something like 9 million people remain unemployed as a consequence of the pandemic, noting that that is equal to the total of the peak amount of unemployed people during the Great Recession of 2009. So we are still at the very height of the same level that we were at in the 2009 recession. So still quite a lot of people uh, unemployed. He says, quote, I'm much more worried about falling short of a complete recovery and losing people's careers and lives and the damage that will do to the productive capacity than about the possibility of higher inflation. So Jerome Powell sent a signal to Congress, both the Senate and the House, that more stimulus needs to be passed and continues to need to be passed. This is pretty much the same thing that economists say, and our brand new Treasury Secretary, Janet Yellen, who used to be the Federal Reserve Chairman previously, that more stimulus needs to be passed. This echoes what the Biden administration says, that we will pass more stimulus packages and checks, plural, until the pandemic is over. This third stimulus check package, Nancy Pelosi says, 
They're working on it right now, and they have been working on it all the way since last weekend. And we're expecting to get the bill here within the next, possibly today or tomorrow. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi says, On the legislative front, we are grateful to our committee chairs. Those are the people that are drafting the different parts of the stimulus package, the third stimulus check package, who are working on coronavirus relief legislation as a basis for reconciliation, should that step be needed. You know that Trump card that they call the reconciliation card? Uh, Yeah, Democrats are already preparing to use this card Luckily, I have one and was sent one (laughs) specifically from the Senate. This is a very rare and very, very valuable card. So if they need to use their reconciliation card, I told them they cannot have this back until the very last one. This is the last one should they need it later on in this year or next year. Then they can have it back. But Democrats are already preparing to pass the next stimulus package without any Republican votes. And that is because they can do that with the reconciliation card to pass it in the Senate with only 51 votes. There's 50 Democrats and 50 Republicans. But if every single Republican says no, and they can only get 50 votes, then there's a tiebreaker vote that goes to the vice president, Kamala Harris, for the 51st vote. So basically, in essence, there's almost no possibility that the third stimulus check package will be denied or not passed at all. The question is when and how soon. But basically, because of these reconciliation cards, of which there's only a certain amount they can use, the third stimulus check package, and honestly, probably the fourth stimulus check package, is almost a matter of certainty. The real question is when, how fast, and obviously we will be getting a lot more answers on that here within the next few days as we get the actual bill. And they're expected to vote on it shortly thereafter, which means the third stimulus check of at least $1,400, possibly higher, but at least $1,400 for adults, $1,400 for children, which is all of these stimulus checks at $1,400, or higher than any we've already gotten. Okay, previously the children only got 500 or 600 based on the second and third stimulus checks. So this is more than double for children and $1,400 for adult dependents who are a dependent on somebody else's tax returns. This is making a lot of people jump for joy because adult dependents and college student dependents did not get the first or second stimulus checks. They will be getting it this time. And there's also a possibility, depending on when we get the bill and we see the actual wording, that they could get the second stimulus check and or also the first stimulus check. That's because they're considering this bill a $2,000 plus up bill. They're trying to make it more. There's certain Democrats, such as AOC, that are trying to make it an additional $2,000 on top of the $600. But this bill was and is and always was meant to be a $2,000 plus up bill which means we increase the $600 and plus it up to a full $2,000, which means the $600 that you just got or likely are still getting, a lot of people, literally millions of people are still waiting on their second stimulus check, as you probably see in our comments, and people are just getting them today and yesterday and still getting them. They're expected to make that $600 plus up to a total of $2,000. Nancy Pelosi finishes and says, we hope and expect Republicans in Congress will support assistance that will bring relief to their communities. But the need for action could not be more urgent, and Democrats will not take any tools off the table, aka their reconciliation cards, as to how the House and Senate can get this package done. We are grateful to members for their flexibility with regard to their schedule, and that is because the House committee chairs here have been working on this stimulus package apparently day and night since last weekend. One of the things that is very exciting for a lot of people is, well, a different bucket of money. Remember, there's all these different buckets of money in these stimulus packages because we have literally the $1,400 checks. We're expected to get an unemployment raise boost to $400 per week and extend that all the way to September 30th. So there's uh, people that will get unemployment monies on top of the stimulus checks, as well as more mortgage and rental assistance money, which we'll actually get to here in a second. uh, In a second, pretty exciting news there, as well as possibilities for a social security increase. 
and possible student loan forgiveness of anywhere from $10,000 to $50,000. Although we've been hearing a lot of news that both these social security increases, there's three different increases, uh, one of $200 per month that is directly from Joe Biden and Chuck Schumer, the Senate majority leader. They want to raise it by $200 per month. We're not sure if it's till the pandemic is over or for eternity. Uh, we'll be getting those details when they announce a bill on that. But Chuck Schumer and Joe Biden want to raise it by $200 per month and 20% for widows or widowers and 5% for people that have been on Social Security for over 20 years. In addition to changing the COLA index so that your in uh, yearly increases will be tracked to a different index, which will likely make higher increases than you're used to. That, along with the student loan forgiveness, we've been hearing more and more information basically over the last coming days that both of those could be in standalone bills or through presidential executive orders. We've seen Joe Biden now and the Democrats take multiple things out of the third stimulus check package. Remember, we got an outline on that like last week that was 19 pages. They're starting to take things out of there to make the package smaller and possibly pass them on their own or through presidential executive orders. Chuck Schumer says that the student loans uh, forgiveness can be done through a presidential executive order with at least a minimum of $10,000 per person. There's also a lot of talk on whether or not the Social Security increase could be done through a presidential executive order because, well, they say they can do student loan forgiveness. And also we had President Donald Trump do a presidential executive order for $300 per week for unemployment checks. So if he can, if the president can do a presidential executive order for $300 per week on unemployment checks, it would make sense that they could also do $200 per month on Social Security increases. But really, we're hearing a lot of information that both the student loan forgiveness and the Social Security increases could be done through presidential executive orders or could be done through standalone bills. The other thing that we could see in this third stimulus check package is a very exciting thing for anybody who has children, and that is a $3,000 to $3,600 basically monthly stimulus check as a basically they're taking the child tax credit and increasing it and expanding it in addition. The current child tax credit is only $2,000. Democrats want to raise that to $3,000 for any children over the age of six, ages six to 17, and $3,600 for any children that are uh, five and under. And the way that they're proposing that this could work is to give you a monthly check instead of a tax credit. The problem with the tax credit, for example, if they pass this right now, is you wouldn't get that until your taxes on 2022 or basically your 2021 taxes that you would file next year. If they do it with the monthly checks, they would basically direct deposit Similar to how an unemployment deposit could be or other stimulus checks, they could direct deposit it in a monthly amount so you get money right now, you don't have to wait till next year, and you get it every single month. So basically anywhere from $250 to $300 per month per child because of this increase of the child tax credit. This is very exciting for a lot of people because Joe Biden says that this could curb child poverty by up to 50% in the United States by making additional money available for families who have children and don't make uh, an exorbitant amount. There would be a uh, income limit on these Next up, rental assistance and mortgage assistance is hitting and is live right now for many, many states, cities, and counties across the country. This is the second bucket of money for mortgage and rental assistance, $25 billion coming from the second stimulus check package. This is now starting to become available across the country. There's going to be two more rounds of this, a third round from the third stimulus check package, and then a fourth round at least coming from the states and city money that is going to be in the third stimulus package also. For example, Denver alone just got $22 million in federal money for emergency rental assistance. Here's how you kind of start applying for some of it. 
Now, the qualifications for each city, state, and county are different. But for example, 90% of that money, roughly $20 million, will, will be available for individual and family renters who earn up to 80% of the area median income, basically people that don't make uh, a lot of money, and pay for things like rent and utility costs according to a release from the city. That means a single person household earning up to $55,000 can qualify and a family of four making $78,000 could qualify as well for this mortgage and rental assistance. Again, this one is for Denver. Here is the one for Douglas County, Omaha that's doling out millions of relief. Here is the next one for North Carolina that is starting also. Here's the next one for Leon County. Here's another one. Stark County, Ohio has $11 million in rental assistance just for Stark County, Ohio alone. The state of New Hampshire is going to see $200 million for rental assistance. San Diego County supervisors just okayed more rental assistance uh, for San Diego, California. Greensboro, North Carolina is sending out more money for rental assistance also. So basically, all 50 states and territories are getting money right now. In fact, most of them have the money. They're now just, you know, it takes them a little bit of time. Everybody's all like, we want the money now. And I, I get it. I get it. But all this stuff takes a little bit of time. So they, all these states and territories and tribal governments too, I believe, have the money now. Or they should be having it or they're getting it today. Or most of them have already gotten it. They're now distributing that money to you guys. So how does this work? Um, number one is go to Google and Google your city, state, or county. Start with the state, okay? Um, but you also can check your county also. So basically, Ohio, go to Google and type in Ohio Rental Assistance. You're going to find the Ohio government website or something similar, and you're going to go to their programs. And some of them are literally you can go and apply online right now. I looked at one from Virginia yesterday, which is open, and basically it asked me a few questions. I'm not from Virginia, but I just went through it kind of to see the application process. Each state is a little bit different, but it asked me if I made a certain amount of money and you know, if I was under a hardship because of the pandemic and it asked me just a few simple questions, I answered yes. And it said, congratulations, you're eligible for rent assistance. Now, obviously I didn't claim it because I'm not from uh, uh, Virginia, but this is the exact process you can do. So what's going to happen is your state may or may not be online today. It may be online later today, it may be online tomorrow. I will be keeping you updated on all the different states and cities as I find them. But if you want to manually check, just go to Google after you watch this video and type in your state and rental assistance so um, or mortgage assistance. Find your state's programs. You may find an old program from earlier in 2020. That was the first bucket of money that came from the first stimulus package for rental assistance. A lot of you guys got that. That's awesome. You might be able to get another round. If you missed out, you can possibly get this round and go and apply. If you see that it's available, make sure you tell our viewers down below in the comments, Virginia is open, California is open, Texas is open. As we see this, help out our viewers. We consider everybody on this, this channel and our community family. We are all an extended internet family. So let's help out our fellow brothers and sisters. As you see them opening for your state, city, or county, comment them down below. And when you see those comments, give them a thumbs up so that they rise to the top. And basically those are important comments. We want to get those ones to the top so our viewers can see them. Also, it's important to note, links can't go in the comments because they get filtered out for spam. And I just get, I get thousands of comments every day. I just can't go through them. There's just, it'll take me the whole day to do. Okay, so um, don't put a link in the comments. If you want to put a link, but maybe delete the .com part and just put space and then write out the word dot, D-O-T, and then put another space. So that's a way to kind of put a link but not put a link, okay? So keep that in mind. But basically, watch this channel. Make sure you're subscribed. Click the bell icon down below and uh, put all notifications on. And stay tuned for upcoming videos. Remember, new videos come out every day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., 
8 p.m. and 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You're not going to want to miss when I announce that your state is open and comments that say your state is open because these programs are first come, first serve. So I will be updating you guys on the mortgage and rental assistance, which literally could pay your rent for three months, six months, or 12 months. It could literally give you $12,000 as an example for mortgage and rental assistance. I'll update you on that. Social security increases, student loan forgiveness, uh, miscellaneous uh, stimulus checks like the one from uh, California coming out for $600 that's just from the state of California, as well as the actual third stimulus check package. There's a lot more than just the third stimulus check. There's all these different buckets of money. I will be keeping you updated. Make sure you're subscribed and make sure you share this video with your friends and family so they know about these programs also. You can click this top video here to watch my newest stimulus check video next. And this bottom video is about the $15 minimum wage increase. If you haven't learned about that or you need to see those details, click on that video to watch them next. Thanks, guys, and I will see you in the next video.